Hi everybody, so I wanted to do another video and show you how to do some journal pages if you didn't have any art supplies. It's similar to blackout poetry, but you find a word on the page that you're using and you use your pages to illustrate that. Uh, so I'm going to show you an example using one of my visual journals. Uh, really simple. I've seen this done with dictionary pages where um, a student gets a page from the dictionary, they choose a word from the dictionary, and they use that page to illustrate it. So if they had a page with um, B on it, like the insect, they would use that whole page to illustrate a bee or draw pictures of a bee and relate it to the word somehow. So that's what I want to show you. If you don't have any art supplies, this is always an option for your journal pages. And also, if you're drawing on your journal pages and you don't have art supplies, you're just illustrating things, I'll show you some different line techniques. And those can be used to bring your image forward on the page. So I've seen some of you drawing on your pages but your drawings are so light and so thin that I can't tell what it is um, with all the words in the background. So these are just some techniques to show you how to make your drawing stand out more and pop off the page. Okay. So again, I'm using um, one of my journal pages. This is just my regular visual journal. So I look through the pages and there's a couple interesting words in here. There's symmetrical design, so I could draw a design that is the same thing on both sides, like a mandala. Um, let's see. There's a sentence here, wrinkles at the corners of his eyes and his mouth, so you could draw a face. I like the words good luck. So I'm going to kind of circle those. And I'm going to draw, create a drawing around those two words. So I've been seeing a lot of clovers around, and I've kind of been collecting a few and I think I'll probably put them in one of my books and um, let it dry and use that maybe in some of my jewelry or even my visual journals I could tape it down um, in my visual journal and use it to decorate so I'm actually going to draw a clover so you know good luck you hear four leaf clovers so, and I actually have some clovers in my jar of water. So, draw a clover. I'm going to do this in pencil first. So, if I mess up, I can erase it. This is not a very good clover, but we will go with it. So then I'm also going to draw some of the flowers. And again, I'm drawing this in pencil just to get my idea down, and I'll go over it with pen.
So I can't remember what a four leaf clover is, but I have some three leaf clovers, so I can change my design a little bit. So now that I have some of that on the page, I will go over it with pen. And this is just a ballpoint pen. You can use gel pens if you have gel pens. So as you can see, my drawing is kind of dark because I'm bearing down on this pretty hard. So it's a little bit, um, darker than what you would normally draw. see there's a lot of lines there's a lot of stuff going on in here so I want to bring out some of those details so I can use different pen and ink techniques I can use stippling cross hatching hatching to go in here and add some details I want my flower to pop out a little bit more. So I'll go in here and I use hatching and add some shadows where those petals overlap. I can also go over some of the petals and make them thicker. 
make the line around them thicker. So this is your line quality. It's when you vary your line. So you have some lines that are thick and some that are thin. So these I want them to be thicker towards the center and then they get thinner as they go out towards the end of the little petals. And then the clover, you can actually shade with a ballpoint pen. So you can really lightly touch the paper with the ballpoint pen and it will give you a lighter value. So bear down a little bit and it gets darker. So I want this to be a little bit darker in the center and then lighten up as it goes out towards the end of the petals. So on the clover, there's like a zigzag um, light green line in the petals. So I'm going to leave that the color of the paper. I'm just go around here and make this a little bit thicker so that it pops out more. And this doesn't have to be realistic, okay? You could make this cartoony or kind of abstracted. If you had white out or a light pen, you could actually go in here and make some highlights. I'll do the same here, darker in the middle, and lighten up the pressure to create shading. And I don't usually outline things this thick, this dark and thick, but since this is on book pages and it's kind of hard to see, I'm going to make a thicker outline.
So again, the goal is to make your drawing uh, pop off your page. So let's see. I'm going to turn this into a clover flower. So we'll add some more clover down here at the bottom. Some blades of grass.
So I'm just using hatching. Hatching is when you use lines that go in the same direction. Cross hatching is when they crisscross. So I'm just going to use hatching on this to kind of add some variety and make it pop off the page a little bit more. You could use pointillism on this if you wanted to. Any of those um, techniques. And I could keep just drawing on here. Add some more clover, more blades of grass, and just keep um, drawing on my page till I fill it up. So I know you have a group of prompts that I've gave you to work from. So you can relate this to one of your prompts. So I think one of them was... Um, something around my neighborhood or so there's a lot of clover that I've seen popping up around my apartment complex in the grass so I could relate it to that and I think I'm just going to keep working on this so I'll post a finished photo, but this is just to give you an idea of things that you can do on your page other than just doing like a pencil drawing. So think about um, outlining it in pen and adding line quality. So making some of your lines thicker so that it pops out more and you're not just scribbling on your page okay um, if you have any questions let me know other than that I look forward to seeing your work bye